Um, hey everyone, before we start I have three things to say. Three, not four. Actually yeah, four. Number one, I'd like to give a shout out to H&M because this play suit has pockets in and I've never seen a play suit with pockets in before. And I'm very grateful for that. Number two, I got a haircut so I'm going to be filming a lot of videos today because I got a haircut. So that leads on to number three of, you're going to see a lot of videos where I have this haircut and outfit on. And also, number four, I pre-record all of my videos, so we're going to go through a cycle of me having this hair, then long hair, then this hair, then long hair. And that's going to be quite entertaining to watch, but very annoying for me because it's not consistent. And I didn't think ahead. Okay, so today I decided that I wanted to do more writing text because by the time you see this, I should have finished the first draft of my first novel. And I think I've mentioned that in like every video now. So I want to do more writing tags to celebrate writing as well as reading because there's things that are like equally important to me. So even though this is booktube, I don't know what the writing equivalent is. This is going to be like a booktube, a book channel and also a writing channel a little bit on the side. Because there's not many writing tags out there. So today we're doing one called the Would You Rather Writing Tag. And I think this video is coming out the same week as my regular Would You Rather book tag. So that's going to be exciting. Not sure who it's by, but I can't actually find the creators of a majority of the writing tags I found. So that's going to be a fun thing to do while I'm editing. Question number one is, would you rather have a male main character or a female main character? When I'm writing, I think it will depend on the story that I'm trying to tell. Like, when I was younger, I used to write purely female characters, because that's something I knew more about. I started introducing male characters because I wanted to experiment with writing more because I felt like with a male main character you have a different perspective on some things. So I wanted to experiment more. Then I started telling, I started writing Beauty and the Breakdown and I started telling the story and I wasn't really sure who my main character was. There's two flies dancing around here. Go away, I know I smell nice. I started writing and then I realised that the character, even though it seems to have a slight more feminine voice, I'm guessing because I'm a woman, and it's a lot of it's very poetic and metaphorical, it's some descriptions, I realised that it should be a male main character. That's going to make no sense whatsoever. Would you rather wake up before dawn every day to write or stay up into the early morning hours to write? I usually wake up before the sun rises, or a slight before the sun rises anyway, just because my sleep schedule is ruined. And I'm not really good at staying up past midnight and still being able to focus and be like fully conscious. So I think I'd rather get up before dawn every day to write. Number three, write a book that is torturous to write but which is very popular, or write a book that is fun to write but only known to a small audience. But I'd probably prefer to write books that I enjoy writing because I it's like we have English lessons in school and in the exams it gives you the prompt of what you're meant to write about for the second part of the exam you got to write like a story and that's horrible for me because I only like writing what I want to write and I feel very restricted by the prompt so I think I'm going to go with writing something that's fun but small audience but also you have like a tighter knit community as well because you have like some fandoms that are huge, they've exploded, there's so much drama happening all the time but when you have the small fandoms, like everyone's friends and that's nice yeah, we're all going to be friends Would you rather write a sci-fi story or a fantasy story? Fantasy, I think because I feel like with fantasy, like with the mortal instruments, full devices but and split Percy Jackson, you can create a whole world of like fancy creatures and there's like no limit to what you put on it but I guess with science fiction it's also quite limitless but you get slightly more restricted by the science behind it Would you rather use first person or third person? First... It's, I, well, first person your re narrators are slightly less reliable because you only hear their side of the story but third person, you get kind of isolated from the more personal feelings. Why won't people stop snapchatting me? Would you rather meet any character of any book, short story, in real life one day, or personally know any author you wish? 
probably personally know an author. Would you rather only be able to write your book in scenes from end to beginning or only be able to write it in scenes that jump around in the timeline randomly? As I'm writing Beauty and the Breakdown, I've done some of it in order, but I always have an idea of some further on, so then I write that while it's still in my head, so all the scenes have to jump around. So I think I could have that. Because if I'm writing stuff in order, I know there's seagulls, shut up. If I'm writing stuff in order, I know there's going to be an idea later on, and I have to write it down there and then, otherwise I'm going to forget it. Would you rather only be able to write dialogue if you act out the voices out loud or only be able to write action if you act out in real life? I think dialogue. Because with dialogue you seem to have to act out a bit anyway to make sure it sounds realistic. Number nine. Would you rather publish with the most successful publishing house in your genre but have to wait to two years to see your book in print or self-publish with no expense or marketing assistance but see your book in print within three months. I, said, I, keep, I can't say the word months, I keep seeing months. Well, I'm kind of going through this dilemma right now because I decided I'm going to self-publish but I've realised that if you're doing it on your own it's very hard to like promote and market your book but it's quick to get printed but with like more formal publishing well, if you're the most successful publishing house in your genre, you're definitely going to get an audience and have like the reviews and like motivation to carry on the story. So I think publishing with a publishing house, two years. I, c I can wait two years, that'll give me time to write another book. And by the time that one's done, the next one will have come out. And then when I'm waiting for the next one to get published, I can write another one. Yeah, I'd wait two years. Would you rather write a goofy story or write a serious story? I'll say serious story because I'm better at writing more emotional scenes than funny scenes. Would you rather have an authorial voice that sounds like the narrator from Planet Earth or have an authorial voice that sounds like Captain Kirk? Undecided. Write a story knowing that you'll have to kill off the main character eventually or write a story knowing that everyone the main character is close to you will eventually have to kill off. I feel like if you kill off everyone that the main character cares about that's more character development for the main character. But if you kill off your main character that is your main thing. Okay this was going to be a slight spoiler if you haven't read the book so mute it for a bit. It's like in Legion, if you read through Divergent, the first Divergent Insurgent is told through Trisha's perspective. Then the third book of Legion, I feel like it goes downhill because it keeps switching between Triss and Thor's perspective. And from the very start of the book you know something's going to happen to her, just because his voice is in there too. And then you kill the main character, then you have disasters like the film's happening. End of spoiler. Was that really a spoiler? Would you rather leave your ending somewhat open and bittersweet and or leave your ending on a cliffhanger? If you leave it on a cliffhanger that gives you more potential to write a sequel. But if you leave it like open and bittersweet, then you're permanently left without having closure. Which I like the idea of. Because I'd rather have it Yeah, I think I'd rather have bittersweet and no closure. Would you rather have your cover art designed by Tim Burton? I'm going to say yes straight away because I love Tim Burton. He's my idol in like art and movie and all that kind of thing. Would you rather write in many different genres or write only in one genre? Write in many different genres because that's kind of what I do. I have many stories that I'm writing. Some of them are more like contemporary romance. Some of them are fantasy. Some of them are whatever the hell Beauty and the Breakdown is. There are lots of different genres I want to explore. And I don't want to settle on one because sometimes I have this random idea that is like so f out of what I usually do and I don't want to commit myself to one thing. I have commitment issues with writing. Would you rather have all your characters have some physical deformity or have all of your characters have some internal twisted nature? I think internal twisted nature. Or would that make them all seem like villains? And physical deformity is usually overlooked in books because it tends to focus on personality and character rather than appearance. Because you don't really get that until the movie. 
So I feel like internal twists in nature will be represented more in books and it will come across better. Would you rather have an orphan main character with a good friend or a main character with a good sized family and family problems? Well, orphan character, that means there's no family to deal with or write about and good friends means there's no issues to write about. But someone with a family and family problems, that gives you more to write about. So that. Would you rather write the sex scene or not write the sex scene? I feel like a lot of sex scenes aren't essential to plots, so I guess I'd rather not write it, and also because I am a child. But there's some fan fiction out there, Jesus Christ. Would you rather write about uncertain dangers and intrigue or write about direct confrontation and violence? I think uncertain dangers because intrigue leaves a lot of room for mystery and exploration. It's starting to rain right now. Direct confrontation and violence. No, don't confront things. Intrigue them. And the final one is 20. Would you rather have to answer any question put to you by your fans or have no fans asking you questions? I'd rather answer any question because I'd like to think I'm an honest person. Excuse me. And if a fan's going to ask you a question, there's probably someone else who's going to ask you that question. So it's starting to rain and that's going to drown. Fucking fly! I enjoyed this tag a lot more than I usually enjoy book tags. I think I can do a lot more writing ones. Or some more. There's going to be a lot of books here. So it's thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!